Hey guys, Shady Like a Tree here, and welcome into Reminiscing with Shady, episode 37. This is Stuntman. Uh, this game was released in uh, June of 2002, uh, developed by Reflections Interactive, published by Infogames, um, and Atari. It was on the PlayStation 2, Game Boy Advance, and uh, it was released in the middle of 2003, about a year after its PlayStation release, on um, mobile phones, mobile devices. Um, let me start off this by saying that this was hands down the most frustrating gameplay I've ever had to, um, get. Um, I've, I did two single player levels of the, the story mode as I do air quotes. Um, as you can see right here, I did both of those and I probably failed 50 times. And it was, it's an incredibly difficult game because this is 2000 really one. Um, 2000 driving so this is really bad like if you if you slow up your car turns on a dime but if you're driving it doesn't turn very well they didn't have the, the driving physics as you can see I'm struggling all kinds of uh, problems with it they didn't have the driving physics um, perfectly correct um, back then and so I never really played uh, the single player very much I didn't really remember either of these levels or either of these scenes from this particular movie um, and so I had, was really unfamiliar, but what I did do a lot when I was, um, playing was do what you're about to see right now. And that is, um, some stunt con constructor gameplay. And what this basically is, is that this first level, I didn't have everything unlocked. And then I remember there was a cheat code and I could unlock everything. So I ended up doing that. Um, but what it basically is, is you set up some, some obstacles in your way or some stunts and you just can perform them. Your car does take damage, which kind of stinks, but, um, for the most part, I mean, it was, that was how I played and I would just sit there for hours and just drive on this stuff and do weird flips and power slides and jumps and all that sort of stuff. And that's really how I played the game because I could never get past, I think the fifth or sixth, um, stunt level for whatever reason I think it was impossible or something like that um, but yeah I had this game on PlayStation 2 um, way back in the day I I bought it used for I think like six bucks which was uh, only two dollars more than or yeah two dollars more than I bought it this time around I think it was 380 something when I bought it at the used game store um, but I'm gonna switch gameplays right now and uh, you guys are gonna see the the major stunt that I uh, have here and this major stunt was um, a lot more fun to set up because you know there's a lot of fire and explosions that are involved but uh, plus you get the faster car which is cool and uh, there's a little loop-de-loop -loop, so that was nice and um, you know this game was just this was really the first game that um, I, I really thought could have been a lot better um, I was really disappointed by it back in the day. Um, and then the, the follow-up to this, Stuntman Ignition or Stuntman, um, oh, what is it called? Um, man, there was, a, uh, I want to say it was like Stuntman Ignition or something like that. It was released on the current generation PlayStation 3 um, Xbox 360 consoles and it was actually much better but it wasn't great I mean they they improved a lot of the problems that this one particular had but they didn't fix a lot of the problem uh, they fixed some of the problems but not all of them and uh, it was really poorly made and graphically designed but I did recognize a couple of the films they had a, a volcano knocked off that film stars Pier Pierce Brosnan who was uh, famous for being James Bond um, three or four times um, what else did they have earthquake a couple disaster movies they had a knockoff of one of the Fast and the Furious movies um, in that they had kind of they, basically what they did is they took scenes from movies and then they just changed the name of the movie and kind of like added one stunt in on a scene and then they said oh well this is our scene and uh, whatnot and right there I lose a wheel so you see me drive around here for a little bit without a wheel um, but yeah this is uh, Stuntman Ignition um, I played this um, oh what year would that have been about 2003 2004 so I'd have been 14 15 13 years old there thereabouts um, 
and uh, I had a lot of fun with the game, but like I said, this was one of the most frustrating gameplays to get, um, just because of how difficult this game is, and, and even on easy, it's, it's difficult to control your car and uh, get things perfect and meet the time that's required, so... I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This has uh, been episode 37 of Reminiscing with Shady. This is Stuntman. Take care and have a good day.